Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and this reading is going to be for Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that will pop out for you guys, Pisces. What messages do we have for Pisces? What messages do we have for Pisces? In case this reading resonates, you can check out the link in the description box. It will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with, what's happening next between the two of you, what does Prey want you to know, any advice that you may need. And I will also be picking out notes from your person. So do check it out. I'll link it below for you guys. Okay, and furthermore from the reading, I will see what needs to be clarified. Now we have the Page of Cups Pisces. I will also link your Twin Flame Soulmate reading in the description box. I'm getting that you're hoping to hear from somebody, okay? It's either that you're hoping to hear from somebody or that you are wanting to open up to love again, okay? You're wanting to open up to love. You're wanting to experience that again, okay? For some of you, this could be... Uh, this could be... A new person okay that you're hoping to connect with but overall i do see lots of love here with the devil energy i feel like you're resisting something pisces and that has a lot to do with your past something from the past seems very toxic and i feel like you're taking it one day at a time okay you're healing yourself from this from this toxicity with the devil and the seven of wands we have the sun card here so again i feel like the root thing okay the root thing the root of it all is that you are wanting to be happy you're wanting to find your happiness and balance again some of you are becoming more spiritual or uh, religious i also see that but i feel like there's a big change here okay especially with the sun energy but again i feel like you're you're trying to do things that make you happy okay with the devil and the seven of wands energy pisces something from the past seems toxic and i think that you're releasing this toxicity okay i also feel like you're obsessed with something okay there's this energy of obsession um, and I feel like that obsession is about closing off to a certain situation. Like, I feel like you're so closed off to somebody that unless this person comes up with a real apology or unless they show you that they really care, I, I really don't see you opening up to them. Okay. What I'm getting here, Pisces, is that there was somebody who... Somebody who wasn't who you thought they were okay i i feel like you were it looks like in a certain situation pisces i see you as somebody who was more involved who was who was more open and honest with their conversation but the other person wasn't receptive okay and you're disappointed in the fact that somebody showed somebody actually showed you their um cold side okay somebody um went cold on you or they showed you a side a side to them that you weren't expecting okay and now you're resisting it as well for some of you pisces you're a little bit disappointed in yourself as well you're disappointed that you should have been more uh, firm with your boundaries when it comes to a certain situation okay now i do feel like you've been suppressing your intuition pisces when it comes to a certain situation a certain person but as long as you keep doing that, you will keep feeling drained, okay? So the message for you here is to... Um, Pisces, your message here is that there is some sort of a renewal and there's something coming out. It's like there's a secret coming out, okay? Something is going to be revealed to you. Let's see. You're focused on your growth. And I do see immense growth for you, Pisces, which is nice. 
I see you focused on your growth. I see you achieving things. I see you working towards things. Okay. And I see a very um, prosperous energy here with the Empress. Growth, expansion, joy, kids. Okay. And that is on your mind. I feel like your growth is on your mind. Okay. Growing as a person, you do not want to stay stagnant. Okay. Let me actually move it a little bit. What do we have for Pisces? Your advice here, Pisces, is the Three of Swords, which to me looks like these are your feelings. Okay. That is strange. I'm getting one thing here from this reading, Pisces, and that is that both of you are in the same frequency, you and your person. You're feeling abandoned. You're feeling like the situation isn't moving forward. There's something that is not really making you feel the best. And there is that immense heartbreak here, okay? And you are leaving the situation. Some of you feel like, what is the point of giving into the situation where there's not enough in emotional fulfillment for me anyway. So what is the point? Okay. What I'm getting here is that your person is viewing you as somebody who plays mind games. This person is feeling defeated. Okay. And this person is viewing you as somebody who has an attitude. I do not know why. Maybe you cut them off or whatever the case was. Uh, but that happened because you felt immensely heartbroken. Okay, whatever you're doing is actually stemming from a very, very deep hurt and heavy energy. And I feel like this is something you have kept to yourself. You haven't really revealed much. It's almost like I will never let somebody else treat me like this ever again. The way I let this person do. Okay, the way I let this person treat me, I will not let another person treat me like this. Somebody could be married here, okay? And if that is not the case, Pisces, I feel like this person views you as somebody very attractive. They're very attracted to you, um, but they're constantly confused. It's either that they're confused between two different people. They're having a hard time with um, making a decision, okay? What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? The Two of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Wands in the future, Pisces. I see a lot of masculine energy I actually see you in your masculine energy as well, which means you're making things happen. You're working towards your goals. You're working towards things that actually bring stability in your life. It's a very, uh, you know, I will go achieve things kind of an energy. It's a doer energy, okay? Um, with the Two of Cups energy, I feel like Pisces, there's a long-term partnership coming along for you, especially with the Ten of Pentacles being here. This is signifying some sort of a big change, good money um you know being able to purchase something big or an increase in your money but i'm really getting that there's a long-term commitment two of cups there is a very fulfilling partnership in the future for you okay somebody is coming towards you who's very uh, masculine very um this is you as well but i'm i'm gonna be honest with you because there's the two of cups i'm seeing this to be a partnership for you there could be somebody who's coming in who's going to be very um open to pursue you we have the king of wands and the queen of wands together in the reading which represents divine counterparts so i do feel like pisces um there's somebody that i see you connecting with in the future where things can work out with this person things can go towards a commitment okay tell me more about the judgment and the high priestess in the reverse which is what the main energy is about and i feel like there's a big transformation going on in your life pisces Things are changing, okay? Let's 
something is going to be revealed to you look at that somebody is going to be communicating and I feel like there are big changes ahead in your life Ca uh, I said Capricorn Pisces you could be connecting with a Capricorn um because there's that temperance and the eight of wands energy Pisces so I'm getting that this is about divine timing and sometimes things will work out for you in a way that you won't even expect you won't even know how things happen so fast because I feel like a I see an improvement in your money like you're getting a big um push forward when it comes to your money and a big opportunity maybe but I also see somebody rushing in towards you Tell me more about the Knight of Swords energy. The Knight of Cups. <laughs> Knight of Swords clarified by the Knight of Cups. Pisces, there is somebody who wants to connect with you, who wants to be with you. Okay. This person's coming in. Page of Swords and the Hangman in the reverse. Absolutely. I feel like Pisces, you were wanting commitment from this person. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. The Hierophant in the reverse. You were wanting commitment, but somebody was being very non-committal. Okay, I'm also getting that Pisces, some of you have been very lazy. You haven't been very productive, uh, procrastinating and stuff, not sticking to your routine or things that you need to be doing. Ace of Cups energy. There's a new start in love for you, Pisces. But I feel like these are all the energies that are not in your life yet. Okay, we have the Hangman in the reverse with the Page of Swords. There is somebody who's constantly keeping tabs on you they're very curious to know more about you but i also feel like pisces with this person you have to be careful there is somebody you have to be careful of why because i feel like this person talks a lot and does very little okay so the choice here is going to be yours maybe you're this queen of wands with the two of pentacles who will have options in love okay tell me more about the three of swords why is that the advice for pisces why is three of swords the advice for pisces the knight of wands <laughs> i feel like pisces yeah king of cups and the ace of wands there are two different people here that i see coming in your life i feel like pisces you distanced yourself from somebody because it's like you you stopped caring about somebody pisces why because you felt like the other person wasn't showing up the way you wanted. And with the King of Cups and the Ace of Wands, there's a brand new passionate start. There is somebody who, who can be controlling at times, but this person has feelings and love for you. And this is going to start off very passionately. I keep getting a king here, okay? You have two types of people here. You're getting a lot of knights and kings. Kings, King is somebody who's more... You, you, you've got all kings here. Look at that. King of Swords, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. All kings here. So this is somebody very mature. This is somebody uh, older than you, perhaps. It could be a male or a female. But this person's energy is very dominant. This person's energy is very persuasive as well as pursuing. Okay, there's going to be somebody who's going to come in your life who's going to pursue you a lot more than your past person. This is the past person that you are being told to be careful of, Pisces. The one who has broken your heart. And I really feel like, Pisces, you fell for the player. You fell for the player. That's why we have the devil energy here. Okay, but there are big changes ahead for you. Let's see, yeah, the star in the middle of the deck. There's a big wish fulfillment around the corner for you. Especially in love. Especially in love. Pisces, do check out the link in the description box. It will take you to the extended to find out what is up with your person. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes. I'm going to clarify who is this new person? What are all these um, kings about? I'm going to clarify that. I'm going to clarify what is this devil energy about? And... I'm going to see what about the person you're connecting with and what about the next three to six months and your message from spirit. So do check it out, the extended. It will be linked below if you're interested. But for now, I'm clearly seeing two different people here, okay? Destiny, service, recovery, and joy. So one thing I'm going to tell you, Pisces, is that there is somebody... Um, you're missing probably a family member or i do not know you're missing somebody maybe somebody who passed away that's a very random message but i'm getting pisces that there could be anybody that you're missing you know doesn't have to be that they passed away it could be anybody that you haven't had communication with in a while 
I do feel like Pisces, whatever is in your destiny will find you. Because the kind of changes that I see in this reading, it, it does talk about destiny big, big time. Okay, we have service, we have recovery and joy. So I feel like whatever has hurt you, whatever has made you feel a certain type of a way, Pisces, you will get over it. The pain is not going to last forever, okay? And you have the joy card. So have more fun. This is giving me the sun vibe here, okay? Have fun, enjoy yourself. Um, sunflowers could be significant or the color yellow could be significant red yellow okay and blue these are the, these are a few colors that I see very significant um, I see a sense of victory but I feel like the key to your healing is with you okay you need to change your perspective about something there's a rec I was gonna say reconciliation I see somebody coming back, Pisces. The past person wants another chance with you. They do. True love in the reverse. You feel like they don't love you though. You feel like they don't love you or they have actually shown you that they don't care. They, they have, um, they definitely have done something here that depicts or depicted that they don't care. That's why you're so distant. But I, I feel like Pisces, you're wanting to be in love again. You're wanting to open up to love again, chemistry. I do feel like Pisces, true love will find you, but not when you are closed off to it. You have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Somebody's very attracted to you. Okay. Give me one more. Keep an open mind, yeah. Your soulmate may differ from, from your usual type and expectations. I do see somebody coming in, Pisces. You are being told to keep an open mind to new possibilities because I see a past person and I see a new person. Like I said, you have so many kings here. Um, gender doesn't matter. It could be a male or a female, but like I said, I will clarify more about this in your extended, which will be linked in the description box. Let's see. Your commitment is being tested. Yes, I can feel that, Pisces. Step out of your comfort zone. So anything in your life right now that makes you hold back, don't let your past hold you back is your other card. If there is something in your life that is seeming to make you uncomfortable, it's time that you get out of your comfort zone. It could be about starting a business, about a love situation. It is the main vibe that I'm getting from this reading is that you are being told to be more receptive and open. I'm definitely getting emotional ups and downs here, Pisces, but it's all a part of your journey. It is all a part of your journey, okay? Big things are coming in, especially a relationship. That's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for Pisces. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the extended version to find out what's happening next between you and your current person, whoever's on your mind. And I will be clarifying the devil and those um, kings here that we have gotten. So yeah, if you want to know more, you can check out the extended. It will be linked in the description box. You can also check out your soulmate twin flame reading. That will also be in the description box. Give this video a like and subscribe if it resonated. Take care, Pisces, and bye-bye.